Hey guys, make sure to stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, you may spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on repairs, parts, diagnostics that you don't need. Make sure to stand to the end. We will explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Silverado. This generation right here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the fuel injectors, fuses are located, you have two fuel injectors. One is for one side of the engine for the V, one is for the other side of the engine. We'll explain where to find these two fuses, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays, that way you do not waste your money and time. And what's important, to always test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stand till the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. If you have a Chevy Silverado, that generation, that's the second generation from year 2006 to year 2013, we'll be making a video about every single fuse relay. Why? Because if you're in the middle of nowhere, you're down the road, you need to find a fuse for fuel pump, ignition, immobilizer, park tonic, anything like that. All we have to do, watch that video, spend less than a minute or two, find it, fix your problem, you're back on the road. Because most people will lose their manuals or it will not be clearly specified in the manuals. Some fuses have multiple functions. So we'll be having more than probably 150 to 200 free repair videos on that. We guys make video constantly here at the garage. We take things apart, engines, transmissions, bodywork, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs please check it out in addition guys if you need to buy any parts tools special fuses anything like that at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we'll share the links in the description of the video below so let's start on it now so now guys let's go ahead and explain what we have here uh, the fuel injector fuses where you can expect to find them we'll demonstrate on that generation chevy silverado you guys have three different fuse boxes. Today we work one that's located right under the hood. Pop the hood open facing the engine on the right side. You have a fuse box under this cover. Remove it guys. Underneath you'll find a main engine fuse box with a layout that looks like this one. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to always test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So the fuel injector fuses, two of them that we need to check, that stores the front of your Chevy Silverado, this is the windshield side, passenger side, driver side. If we guys zoom in a little bit, we'll come in that row of fuses that's super important, okay, right here. And here we need to check two fuses for fuel injectors, guys. The first one that we'll need to check is known as fuse number 13, that 20 m fuse right here. The second fuse is known as uh, fuse number 24, guys, and it will be that fuse right here. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you guys for watching, see you next time.